guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. Schedules have changed since the beginning of the year in the fall, so yeah, I am adjusting to things. We are all adjusting to things. I didn't do a beginning of the year like homeschool clean out and get ready for this new school year and all of that. So I have decided to show you guys what it looks like mid-year lived in. Hopefully this will help you guys. By no means is this perfect. It's tidy, but I wouldn't necessarily say everything is perfectly organized right now. So this is kind of a lot for me to show you guys what it looks like right now because it's not neat <laughs> for me. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in and show you guys what the room looks like. We did move furniture around. I have a new desk back here. Well, the desk isn't new. The desk is from the office that was upstairs and we moved it down here. The upstairs is now the playroom. So instead of having half schoolroom, half playroom like we did last year, we just have a schoolroom down here, playroom upstairs. A couple of new things to show you, a couple of things that have changed, but let's just get into it and I will show you where I moved everything. I will flip the camera around and I will walk through and show you. Also, I don't want to forget to say, I do have an homeschool update for you guys, like what's updated with the curriculum and like what's happening. I have that video coming as well. So I wanted to mention that in case you were interested. And now I'm going to show you guys the room. All right, first thing that changed, we changed the picture that was here. This is our solar system. This is from September and Co. And I just thought this was really cute. We are still working on another science curriculum right now, but we are going to jump into space science after. So I put that up there. I do have another new picture, but the girls wanted that one up. And then all of this is the same. We just have their nugget here. They like to like lay on each side and like read a book. And then... I don't have anything up there because I cleared it off. But that's where I hang their like artwork. I just put little magnets up here. That's what that is. And then we just have our calendar. It has been raining for days. So sorry about the lighting. We do have a new rug and I have another video to show you guys that. Our clock is the same. And I moved their desk over to this wall in front of the window and it kind of helps brighten the mood. Oh, I keep some wipes down here to like wipe things off really quickly. This is my tower, I call it. It's just our homeschool planner. I have a video on that, how I made it last year, and it's the same. And here, just a bunch of supplies. We have our little clocks. This one's cool because it does a light, like it can flash instead of beep. So that was cool. This is for their lamp. Not much to say about that. <laughs> this is just the typing from the Good and the Beautiful. I would call this like a elective drawer. This is their science. So we have bird watching and like their little goggles. And this is like history stuff. We have our scrunch maps, the wrap ups. And I have a glass board here. That was before I got the glass here. So that was another thing that we did. Um, these are just separated by month for our calendar. We have a lot of index cards. And these are just three separate bins and they kind of separated at the center. So I use little clips to kind of hold it. And this is where I put the girls completed work so while we're working on things, if they finish something, I put it in here and make sure there's a date on it. So that is Kaylee's drawer. This is Sydney's drawer. And then I will actually put them into the girls' um, like portfolio binders because I save everything right now. So um, this was full, like full because I didn't do it since October actually and I just went through it yeah so I did have these out over there which is like a good idea if your kids are older or don't take you know the paper and um color on it which is what Sydney did so I decided to put it in here and then this is just all of the hole punchers and paper cutters or trimmers they're not cutters they're not like the massive thing 
just the trimmer. And here is their desk. I already told you I moved it. We have the lamp, which I got on Amazon with the remote that you saw in the drawer. And then this little caddy I got on Amazon as well. And it actually works well that we have these sorted kind of like grouped colors with a space in between. And yeah, that just has been working really well. Um, this is Sydney's side. Pretty sure she's gonna be a lefty. And then Kaylee's right-handed. So it kind of works that they're on the sides that they're on so they don't elbow each other. Um, and this has been cleaned probably every two to three days. And this is, we're on day three now. So this is the true drawer of a three-year-old. Yep. <laughs> Got some Play-Doh stuff. Got her little ducky. And yeah, that's what's happening in there. We have her morning menu. I pulled out, this is the old, um, the Good and the Beautiful Level K primer, just cause she wanted to like, as soon as I sit down to do school with Kaylee, she's like, I wanna do school. And I'm like, I'm not ready for you yet. So I'll give her this to um, kind of work on without me. And I just have a few extra things in here. And most of the rest of this, you guys are probably gonna laugh because all of this is like preschool kindergarten stuff that I've printed and have had saved for like two years. So like all of this, yeah, that's, it's a lot. Scissor stuff, coloring, more papers. You guys think I'm kidding. These are like all alphabet things. So yeah, very slowly going through those, but that's her side. And then over here on Kaylee's side, her should be a little bit better. A little bit. This does not come out. These are the um, drawer inserts from Ikea, but if anyone knows how to get that out, please tell me. The magic eraser did not work. And then she has her morning menu in here. The checklist is on the back as well. Apparently we just have stickers in here. A lot of other activity books, sticker books, painting books and this. <laughs> this is all of her artwork and drawings. That's actually Sydney's, but it's artwork and drawings and things that she's made. And there's a bin in here. I don't know if you can see the bin. And we used to just have the bin. And pro tip, put a lid on it so it doesn't end up behind the drawer because you have to take the drawer out and like unscrew it. So after doing that twice, I told her that we have to put a lid on it. And so that way it doesn't get stuck behind. So we need to go through that, but at least there's a place for it and it's not just sitting on top of the desk. So real life. So her top drawer and her bottom drawer are just crazy, but that's real life. And that's what I'm showing you. One of the best things that we did though, was get the glass for this table because now I can just grab a dry erase and just write on it. We don't have to use a ton of paper because we're writing on the glass. So it works perfectly because the table's white and we use a black marker. So it's been working really, really well for us. Obviously it's easier to clean too. Up here, this is exactly the same, I think. So pencil sharpeners. Um, over here, I just have all of my Epson Eco Tank ink and my scissors and the black ink doesn't fit. So it's just hanging out back there. This, I have, there are actually four different like three drawer systems. And I did have this over here in the cube, but I moved it up here because I wanted to reorganize and add drawers and now it's here. They're pretty much what they say they are. Not anything super exciting. Um, this is their instant film for their little camera and is for the little twinkle lights up there. I should have put that on earlier. So these are our read alouds for this year. They are seasonal. So we have um, the fall, winter, and then spring and summer. And the girls got Yodo. Actually, they both have a Yodo um, before Christmas. It was actually November. But I read both of these and they have make your own cards with those on there. So um, love those. And then these are just books from The Good and the Beautiful. 
And then we have American Girl History. This is from uh, Little School of Smiths. I don't think I talked about this in my video, but it is something that we added. I'll talk to you guys about that later. And we're also doing the science from The Good and the Beautiful, The Little Hearts and Hands. So I have some science here. So history, science, and then this is Sydney's and this is Kaylee's. These are like their little lap desk, some paper, and that's from like the winter bundle. These are just some, well, this we do all the time, but um, get ready for the code and beginner math. Like we haven't done those much at all. Um, she does the doodles and her preschool course. And then I have the Dash activity packs here that go with the Dash books. Here's um, the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2, Language Arts Level 1. This is the booster cards. We have Explode the Code, Dash Handwriting. She loves handwriting. We have Draw Right Now, Handwriting Level 2, um, our Easy Grammar. And then these are like her extras, Beyond the Code, and then Counting Money. I did have some way that I was organizing this for every week. I haven't put them in the spiral lately. I just have them right here. I need to get back to that, but I haven't since the holidays. And then here's her lap desk. That fits so much better up here than it did in the drawers, by the way. Over here, we have the pro click. We have the dash books. And then these are the character and manners cards from September & Co. And then these two are Sydney's drawers and these two are Kaylee's drawers. So Sydney's drawer, we have Math K, which we did not start with her yet. She has her own clock because she loves the clock. The buttons from Language Arts and then some flashcards. Down here we have the beginner books box sets. These were the discontinued books, but we still have those. And then this is Kaylee's math drawer. Um, we have the wrap-ups from Usborne, Musical Multiplication, and um, Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 box. Those two are from The Good and the Beautiful. And then these are the multiples of cards. And these are from September & Co. as well. We have her books. This is the Reading Booster B books. They are just in this bin. The Dash books that she's read from set two so far. And then what she's currently reading is Lena's Toes. And then this will go back up there and she'll flip with a different book. And then, oh, I didn't do this one. This is just some of our morning, not morning basket, because we don't do a basket anymore. I have to talk to you guys about that, but these are just some morning books is what I'm gonna call them. <laughs> and then down here we have some science extras that don't fit in that little tiny spot up here. So the squishy human body, I actually have more down here of the human body ones because the little squishy part was really messed up and some of them were missing. So I just got more than one. And then this is from Little School of Smiths. I have a bunch of unit studies here, and then I have more little folders down here. I'm gonna show you down here too. I have space science, and then all of our science units organized. Like I said, we're doing space next. And then this is like the history extras cube. So I have like all of the, all of the books from Kaya, Felicity, Josefina, Kirsten, Addie, Samantha, Kit, Molly, and then all of their individual like storybooks. So Constitution and Declaration of Independence. And then this is the history board game that I put together from Little School of Smiths. So all of that, this is just a lot of wipe clean and a few extra Evan Moore books. All right, and these two are Sydney and Kaylee future curriculum or things that we're not using right now. And I have these like in like those little folders. And of course I already had math one cause Kaylee already completed that. So I have same thing with the binder. I had the binder all set up. So I just printed math one. We haven't even done math K yet. That's right here, but it's printed and ready to go for her. That's Sydney's for kindergarten and one basically. And then Kaylee's is here. I'm not sure when we're gonna start level two. She's actually almost done with level one right now. Wordly wise, I got that. We have not done that yet. This is more level two things. Math three. I have, I actually got dashed into handwriting as well. 
I have the map three box, handwriting level three, some more draw right now, uh, fix it grammar, constitution. That's what's happening in my bookcase area. And then over here I have their checklist. If you wanna see more on that, I can show you guys that later. Um, this is for their history, kind of what month we are doing which American Girl doll. And then we have the Valentine's Day mini unit from Little School of Smiths as well. And then this is from Dash, just a coloring page. These are just teacher guides and clipboards. And then on my little cart here, these are what I use for art for them. So they can do like watercolor and put some um, down in here as like their little tray and then put their paper on these. Got that from Amazon. And then down here, just a bunch of paper for them. You can tell when they grab paper because it looks like that, but just regular printer paper because I don't want them digging through my drawer for paper. And then down here, we have Play-Doh Central and just a few extra things like my adjustable hole punch and their little dig kit and some paper from Ikea, like this really long paper, but it's so cute. So that's what's going on with my cart right now. All of these drawers have paper in them. And I'm not kidding when I say they're all paper. They're just paper, but they're all different guys. And if you're watching this, you probably know. So I have different card stock. This card stock is like true white. This card stock is like a little off white. This is 24 pound paper. This is 28 pound paper. And then that was actually 20 pound paper. So different paper, my little charger, little post-it note with pen and my printer, which is the best thing ever. And I was gonna show you the ink level, but I recently filled it. Oh, my desk is from Ikea and my little cushion is Lisa and it's comfortable. That's what the school room looks like. And this is a quartet board and I got this on Amazon. It's a glass whiteboard. Yeah, this has glass too. I've had this for this desk for a really long time. But this desk is from Pottery Barn. This is from Pottery Barn. Those two little these guys, that's also Pottery Barn. I used to have that out on my desk, but it, it makes it look cleaner when it's not there, when it's put away. But I did have the sorter right here and then the paper was next to it actually. And so instead of her grabbing the paper, she was grabbing like completed work and coloring on it. She was coloring on Kaylee's work. That's the school room and let me know if you want any links for anything. I will try to do some more videos and show you guys some more looks into our homeschool and give you guys some more updates. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. Let me know if there's a certain type of video you guys would like to see into our homeschool or routines or what the day looks like. Um, just let me know. See you guys soon. Bye.